Hey everybody, this is 22 Targeted here, and I'm here to review the episode Chocolate with Nuts, requested by Invader R. Chris. Alright, and so this episode is about when SpongeBob and Patrick are going door to door to sell chocolate. And oh my goodness, this episode is so hilarious. This is one of the most hilarious, well constructed, well made. Very clever SpongeBob episodes I have honestly ever seen. The storyline in this episode is just so original. It's simple too, and you know, and you guys know how it is when it comes to simple plots in SpongeBob right here. And I thought how the writers wrote this episode was just so fantastic. The comedic timing in this episode is just so spot on. This episode has so many quotable, hilarious lines. Patrick is so stupid in this episode, but man, he was hilarious. Everything about this episode is just so damn hilarious. And then, of course, you can't forget the famous chocolate! 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 I am sorry if I scared you guys, but I just couldn't help it. Oh, man. I have no flaws with this episode. Although, it is a little bit creepy with the ending. Overall, I just think it's a clever episode. It's original. It's hilarious. It's paced well. It's written well. It's all very so put together. <laughs> and... It's just a magnificent episode. It's just one of my favorite SpongeBob episodes ever made. I love the amount of time that they put in here. I, there were no misses at all. Like literally every single humor put into this episode makes me laugh so hard. And I could never get tired of watching Chocolate with Nuts. The episode overall is just so freaking amazing so i'm gonna give chocolate with nuts a 10 out of 10 goodness gracious i love it Now I'm here to review Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 5, aka Super Friends. Either title matters. I prefer Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 5, honestly. And this episode is about when Barnacle Boy doesn't feel respected anymore. He joins the dark side with Man Ray and the Dirty Bubble. And so now, with Mermaid Man being alone, Spongebob, Sandy, Patrick, and Squidward, they all join together and form this group called the International Justice League of Super Acquaintances. And so, you guys could kind of figure out what, how the rest of the episode is going to go. My thoughts on this episode, I actually think it's really good. No, it's not as good as Chocolate with Nuts. The episode does have its issues, but it's still really good nonetheless. I think the episode doesn't have that much humor, in my opinion. But when there was humor, it would actually be hilarious. Storyline overall is written pretty good. I thought it was nice how they handled it. It was paced well, too. 
But my flaws with this episode, unfortunately, the something about the story, they could have added a little more, you know, something, something to not make the episode feel lacking. Because that's really what this was to me. The episode felt lacking in certain moments. Like, it felt a little boring, honestly, to me, too. And I was hoping something a little more out of it. And if I have to be completely honest with you guys, the ending, I thought, could have had a little more to it, too. So, you know, they could add a little more something-something to really make the episode better. But I can't really complain, really, because overall, I think this is a really good episode. It's really well done. I'm impressed overall how the episode was made. So, I'm going to give Mermaid Man and Barnacle 5 an 8 out of 10. Subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, comment to give me your thoughts on the Spongebob episode, like and share this video. Don't forget that I will always have TAGA POWER!